Hey guys, I wanted to just do a quick video with a link below to a site with um, people who have died due to eating disorders and just so that you guys can see it and mark it as maybe a little bit of a realisation that eventually it can get round to any of us. None of us are invincible. Um, and I was actually just researching one person that someone told me about and I just searched their name and it said in memory of um, in Google and I opened it and I scrolled down a bit and I saw quite a lot of lit candles like little pictures and names below them and each name you can click and it'll tell you just a little bit about that person and why they died, what they died of. Um, and so, just wanted you guys to kind of look at it because there's a lot of candles there. And let's face it, hardly any of the people dying out there right now from eating disorders are going to end up on that site. One in every seven. just a very sad truth and mm. don't know what else to add I just wanted you guys to see that um, maybe realise something when you do see it because I always thought I was one that would never end up becoming underweight I would never end up ill I would always be this person who wanted to go on a diet and couldn't, and I'm still that person. I still don't think I'm ill, but I didn't think I'd be going in and out of units four times by the time I was 16, and once in a general hospital, well twice in a general hospital, because again, from self-harm as well. Didn't know I'd be in and out of doctor surgeries twice a week. Didn't know that with each bit of food that I flushed down the loo, I was watching my future go with each flush. I didn't realise that when I flushed that toilet, I didn't just see food go down the drain. I saw hopes and dreams and future and GCSEs and A-levels and everything I ever hoped for go with it. That every piece of food that I ate, the more that I ate, the more that, and that I kept in, the more that I was nourishing my future. Not just my body, my future. The way you treat your body is the way you're treating your future. And... I'm still watching it just go down, down. And you never realise that you might eventually be the one that dies. And then if you do realise, you don't care. The sooner you try and stop, the easier it will be. Because eventually when it comes to eating disorders, even if you really, really want it, and even if you think recovery so isn't worth it, one day you'll hit that stage where you think, my God, I should have listened. I should have listened. Whether you're 50 when you reach that age, or 17 when you reach that age, or 11 when you reach that age, eventually you're going to reach the age where you think, my God, what have I done? I shouldn't be doing this. This isn't me. And you're going to wish and wish that you'd listen to people and that you'd either got help or got better or realised that eventually you're not going to want it. As 
thing else what I really wanted to say here. An update on me. Um, from my last video, I have lost quite a bit of weight. My BMI is now, I think, about 14. Um, and that's not due to restricting. Um, my health is okay though. I'm still being checked on twice a week, but then the visits are very close now. They're Fridays and, and Wednesdays instead of Tuesdays and Fridays, so they're much closer than they were. So it's not so much of a gap for things to... for us to find out how things really are. Um, I've not been sleeping very well, but all of that kind of crap is all on my vlog. You guys aren't here to find out about me. I'm here to try and reach for help and motivation. And this website might help in a way, but it could also trigger you because you could look at those people and think they're so lucky. They're not at all. It's an insult to their memory to think, oh, I want to be like them, but at the same time, I can see why it might appeal to some people. Um, I know that in the past it definitely would have appealed to me and I suppose in a way it appeals to me now. It doesn't appeal to me now. I don't think they're lucky at all. But I wouldn't say it triggered me. But I wouldn't say it necessarily makes me want to suddenly recover. But the point is is just that you're aware a little bit. Just, even if you don't reach for recovery, try and be as aware as you possibly can. Analyse everything, figure out everything. I remember that the way you treat your body is the way you treat your future. The way you treat your body is the way that you treat your life and everything that's gonna come with it. If your body's getting no better, then your life definitely will not get any better. The two always go hand in hand. If you work on your life, maybe your body will get better, maybe it'll start to get you motivated, but if it doesn't then, and you're keeping unhealthy, then eventually it doesn't matter how good your life is because you're gonna die. You will die. Whether it's binge eating, or bulimia, or anorexia, if you continue it, you will die. It's just not good for your body. It's not good for your life. That's all I wanted to say. Oh, and by the way, everyone, Chi Chi's dead.